Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody, drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Basically, um, we did our co-op stream last night, which was Cat and I streaming Dondoko Island. This is our second session of this virtual island community that's a hybrid between, say, Animal Crossing or Disney Dreamlight Valley or other similar Sim-style games like that. Um, and the, the goal last night was to hit three-star rating on our resort because when you hit a three-star rating is when you get your next big reward of money that you could spend in the real game outside of the Dundoko Island. So we sat down to do it. And first of all, just to be completely transparent here, already I could tell it was a stressful day for my wife. She had a bunch of other stuff going on. She was running around. She had to cook a, di a big dinner and everything. And I could tell when she came in here, already she was like pissed off from other stuff that had nothing whatsoever to do with the stream. She was happy to be here. She wanted to do it. Um, but that, you know, already you could tell. Like, that's already the bad, <laughs> the bad start, right? And so we sit down to do it. And we start to play. And we're having fun. We're both having fun again. Like, oh, this is cool. We're jumping in. We're building again and everything. And... What ended up happening was a, a couple of things, all right? Number one, <clears throat> you know, uh, when you get people in the chat who want to keep prying and asking silly questions, like, for example, people are asking her about uh, how she does her beauty stuff. Like, this is not a beauty stream. She's not going to sit here and talk to you about her skincare routines and how she does her makeup and stuff like that. It, it's supposed to be a fun co-op gameplay stream. You know, if you were to ask me about my daily routine, about how I do stuff, I'm not going to sit here and talk about that all day either. You know what I mean? So you're getting questioned, prying questions like that. It's like, oh, so you want to respond to everyone in the chat. But when you get people starting to ask silly things like that, it's like, oh, now, you know, now you got to start pr picking and choosing the commentary that you want to do and talking with who you want to talk about. Right. And yes, I'll be honest. There were a couple people who were basically excited to be there, but they, they definitely and it's not just one person. But it's a few people who are like, I want my question answered, so I'm going to spam it 400 times in the chat. Boom, 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 boom. It's like, oh, you know, it's draining. Because it's this is something that I literally do all day every day. I'm used to it. Cat is not. Cat is not a streamer. So she's seeing it firsthand. Now she's starting to see the kind of stuff that I have to handle literally every single day. And it starts to get to you. It's like, oh, my God. Every time you look at the chat, it's the same people, the same questions, the same thing over and over. It's like, oh, my God, right? But then in combination with that, so I, I would say... Last time when we did it, earlier in the week, it was more first time doing it. It was more fun because it was the early stages of the Dondoko Island where everything's getting set up. You're having your first guest. You're doing your initial setup. It's a lot more interesting and fun, okay? And I'll be honest, people were excited to see her back. Remember, she hadn't been on a stream in a, in a few weeks. So it was exciting to see her back. People had genuine interesting questions and things like that, correct? But then, last night... Not only are we coming back only a few days after the last co-op session, so it's relatively quick since the last one we did, but now the game is becoming way more grindy. And what I mean by that is, in two hours, our first session, we got two star levels. So it was level one, level two, double rewards, big momentum. It took us the entirety of last night's stream to hit the three star resort level, okay? So it's a grind at this point. It's like, you got to keep building more stuff. You got to build the right stuff to appease the guests. You got to keep collecting and crafting items to get your popularity rating up. You got to be clearing the new areas of the island and then cleaning them out and then raising enough money to buy them. You've got to, you know, catch the bugs, fight the intruders, do this, do that. And it, it, after a while, instead of it feeling fun, it becomes more like busy work, right? Now, the one thing that did open up in Dondoko Island last night that was interesting was the farming area. <clears throat> And at first you might think, oh, that sounds like a good a good new thing. In reality, it's not that interesting. The farming area is just you take your Sujimon, which is basically their take on Pokemon, right? So you take the Sujimon that you've earned during playing the game, and you apply them to various tasks. You can have one area where they train and they level up, so you don't have to use them in combat, but instead they just level up over time naturally for free. You got one area where they work on resources for crafting, and they'll just give you free resources after a certain amount of time. You got one area where they'll work in a workshop, and after a certain amount of time, they just give you the money to do things on the island. And then there's a final area where they're farming, and they'll give you vegetables so that you can now craft other items that raise your, your levels and everything on the island. The thing is, there's literally nothing there of substance. It's literally you just assign Sujimon, and then you just have to wait. 
so there's nothing to it and that's the big new thing they add for like between two and three star rating that's supposed to appease you it doesn't really appease anything it's kind of boring you know so basically here's what happened we played for one hour and after that hour you know i here's the thing i i can read my wife i can tell when things when she has a change in attitude or whatever number one i could tell she was getting tired already because keep in mind again she's not a streamer she doesn't sit here in this chair all day she's not used to it so i could tell she starts to move like this i could tell wow she's uncomfortable she's probably having like soreness or back pain um from sitting here and i could tell like interacting with the chat wasn't as fun like there wasn't as many interesting questions or really discussions that we were doing so it was like the game's getting kind of boring she's getting tired and sore and basically we're not having much conversation of meaning with the chat so it's kind of like the tri trifecta of all oh, god this is kind of not working right now right so basically after about an hour i asked her you know would you like me to jump in and that way you know we could tag out basically i can play and you could just you know help me with some of the suggestions or whatever so they said yeah so that's what we did so i started playing in the second hour um and even that i can tell you i started playing i was bored like i was i was fucking starting to not knock no kidding i'm sitting here with my wife next to me with a live stream of hundreds of people and my eyes are starting to droop i was like dude this is fucking boring like wow and then so basically here's the thing i talked to cat off camera about it and i was like wow that was really boring she goes yeah like now she's realizing she's like when i did it myself she was doing it in the living room on the couch casually right relaxed atmosphere there's no pressure to make progress if she got bored she could leave and go play more of the game and then go back to it it wasn't like oh we're really concretely for two and a half hours just trying to make progress in it so what happens is you take a mode that's meant to be more like a casualized mode that you do from time to time to earn currency for your game and you turn it into like work and it doesn't actually work like that it gets boring when you treat it like that you know if it were more riveting or interesting or actual meaningful progress in the story or gameplay probably would have loved it but instead it just ends up feeling like a boring grind and it doesn't really work like that it's real i think it's more meant to every once in a while you go back and you grind it and then you break it up with progress in the game and then you go back again so yeah basically it got really boring and so basically what happened was uh after about an hour and a half I want to say or maybe an hour 45 minutes because we were nearing the end of the stream anyway i think it was like 20 minutes left on what i had scheduled to do for the stream i said to her i can tell you're not having a good time you know do you want to take off and she's like yeah i do i was like all right well thanks you know thank you for joining us i'm, I'm so happy she gave it a shot right i mean that was about four to five hours of gameplay of dundoko island that she helped us with and made great progress i wouldn't have made as much progress as i did in it if i'd done it for myself so I'm happy that she was here to help us and get as far as we did. And by the way, we did hit the three-star resort rating. We did it. So I got another big reward. Now I have $96,000 to spend in the game when I actually play it again uh, on Monday night. We're going to actually have tons of progress, like tons, which is excellent. I can't wait to play it again tomorrow night and reap the rewards of everything that we just did over the last two nights of co-op. Uh, you know, it's going to be great. But, <clears throat> admittedly, we were hoping for something better. We were hoping to do the whole thing. We were hoping it was going to be more interesting. And quite frankly, the mode just doesn't hold up. You know? And again, after having talked to Kat after the stream, she was like, yeah, she, it's not that she, wa she was upset or anything. <clears throat> but she was just feeling so fatigued. Because, no, number one, again, she's not a, a streamer. She's not used to sitting here for two, three hours in a row not getting up not stretching not taking a break she's not used to sitting in this chair um and again when she did it for herself she was in a living room downstairs she could take breaks she could trade tag in and out to do the main story so it wasn't boring this was becoming incredibly boring doing it the way that we were doing to her for her and again it wasn't like like i tell you like it, it's kind of similar to i would say the two weeks that we did this the q a the first week that we did q a in january it was refreshing because Kat had come to the streams for the first time in ages. Tons of interesting questions. People, you know, wanting to talk with her for the first time in five years, right? And that was really awesome. The second time we did Q&A, it kind of got played out because now you got people coming asking the same questions, running out of interesting questions. Now the questions are getting more intrusive and more private and stupid things we're not going to answer, you know. <clears throat> and that's kind of what we felt like happened, like, last night, having done the back-to-back co-op so quickly. 
Um, it just wasn't really fun. And that's the thing is we if we're going to do it, if, if Kat's going to come on stream and hang out with us, we want to be fun. We want it to be a special time, something interesting, something notable, something meaningful. Not We're just grinding through a game now and who cares if it's fun or not and we're all bored doing it, but who cares, right? It's stupid. Like, what's the point then? I, I might as well just stream anything else, right? So, um, yeah, basically, it, you know, it, it's, let me put it this way. It's not a bad thing that it turned out that way because we hit a major milestone. I've, I've raised so much money in the game that now when we play it again, I'm going to make major progress and strides. But I'll be honest, like, even, even after <clears throat> that, I don't know if I ever want to go back to that mode. I think Dondoko is basically a mode that if you want to kill time and get these extra rewards, you can do it. And at this point of the game, it was important to do it because I need that money to make good progress in the game. But there's other ways in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth to level up and or get money. Like, for example, once I get better gear and stuff, I'll be able to take on the higher levels of the optional dungeon. And that optional dungeon pays a ton of money and a bunch of great items as well. It's not just about the money outcome, but also having a bunch of big rewarding items too. So I feel like this is probably the end of us doing that co-op. I don't think we're going to want to do it again. I, mean, I don't think I even want to do it myself again, solo. I don't think I ever want to go back and do Dondoko Island. And it was funny because we're, we're nearing the end of the stream and Slayer was here helping out with modding and he goes, oh, so when you play like a dragon, you should do the Sujimon stuff. I was like, do the Sujimon stuff. It's like we just did five hours of boring ass grinding in this Dondoko Island, and now you think I want to go do Sujimon grinding? Are you out of your mind? Absolutely not. That is the opposite of what we're doing. When we go back to the main game, we are going to make major progress. We're going to take the new jobs. We're going to unlock more jobs. We're going to buy equipment. We're going to level up. We're going to do fun side mission questing and quirky stuff in the city. That's fun. We're going to make story progress. The last thing I want to do is get stuck into another side mini game thing that takes 10 hours to finish and is incredibly boring. So, yeah. Um, so, to, to summarize, okay? Kat and I thought that we were going to do all of Dundoko Island. We're not doing all of Dundoko Island. We got to th three star level, which is essentially like the halfway point, and we're we're topping out now. We're bored. Okay, we don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again solo, regardless of co-op. I don't even want to do it again. I think it's boring, and I don't really feel like going back and spending more time doing it. Okay, we got out of it what we needed to get out of it. It's now going to help the playthrough moving forward. Okay, Cat is not upset or anything. She just was hoping that it was going to go better and be interesting, and she's now realizing. Wow, it's nowhere near as fun doing it like this a second time where we're turboing through it. Again, if this was being done casually, slowly, over time, that's different than, oh, dedicated night streams just to do Dondoko, right? So, um, that's that for that. But of course now, a couple things happen. Number one, it kind of sucks because this was the co-op we were planning to do for a bit. You know, it was supposed to be 10 to 15 hours. We only played five. So we essentially did one-third of what we were hoping to do. We were hoping that this co-op would last a few weeks, and now it lasted two sessions, right? And now it's done. So, number one, yeah, people were expecting a lot more co-op, and there's no co-op right now, right? That's number one. Um, so, number two, where do you go from here? Because right now, there really are no co-op games out or coming out that we're really interested in. Like, she has zero interest in Helldivers, okay? So that's not happening. Um... We talked about other games. Like, everyone keeps saying stuff like, what about It Takes Two and stuff like that? She's not interested in that. You know, we have to do something that we're going to be interested in so that we'll be, it's not us sitting here being boring and just doing it for work. Again, it's a, that's what I'm emphasizing is if my wife's going to be involved in my content, it has to feel fun, it has to feel special, and it has to feel like something we're interested in. Not, oh, she's just coming here to go through the motions of pumping out a piece of, of content. Because then what happens is you're crossing over the realm of private, personal, with work. And I've done that before, many times. You may realize, you know, I had other people in my private life, you know, back in the day who were involved in my content, and when you force it to just be work, it doesn't work, okay? I know that for a fact. So, I don't know what's, what comes next. We have to talk about it and try to figure it out. I've got some suggestions. Someone actually sent me a really nice suggestion, uh, and they were like, so here's what you could do from now on. Whenever there's a new piece of hardware, like for example, a new console comes out or something new that you're getting that you're adding to your setup or whatever, 
You could do a live unboxing together. You can both investigate and give your takes on this. You can hook, do the initial setup, hook it up, get whatever it is working. Like a perfect example would be the upcoming Switch 2, right? Let's say it comes out. So we get it, we unbox it, we give our opinions on it, we hook it up. We do the initial setup together. We, we each use the controller and give our takes on it. Yeah, I think that's great. I think that's a lot, a lot better than just me doing it. But the question is, how often does that happen? Not very often, <laughs> right? That's not a common thing that we go like, oh yeah, let's do that next week. Uh, no, that, you know, that doesn't happen that often. So that works, just it's gonna happen every several years. It's not a common thing, right? So, you know, what else do you do? And again, people are, are recommending games that we're not interested in. Play A Way Out, Play It Takes Two. Play it. These are all the same style of game and really there's no interest in them, right? So maybe if something new comes out, that's co-op and it looks interesting to us, we'll do it together, you know? Maybe if there's a game that's a shorter game, but it looks like there could be like maybe co-op commentary or something on it would work, maybe that would work, right? Um, I don't know. You know, one thing that I thought, and this is just me throwing this out there, what if every once in a while, whenever she feels like it, Cat actually comes and does co-op commentary with me on a regular Like a Dragon Infinite Well stream? Like the real game, not the fucking Don Doko grind bullshit but actually just like watching and commenting on the real game together, right? Because I know she likes the game. That maybe could be fun just to have her do it on the regular playthrough, but it doesn't have to be all the time. There's no commitment to time of her coming to do that. It would just be if she feels like it, she could come in and hang out if she wants, you know? And that way there's no pressure. Maybe there'll be a day when she wants to do it and she pops in to do it, and then another day she just doesn't want to do it at all, so she, there's no promise that she was going to, so it's not a big deal, right? <clears throat> so... I don't know. That's just one idea I had, you know. But outside of that, right now, yeah, I really don't have too many ideas about what else we could be doing. Um, you know, I can tell you this. Like, some people are saying, what about her doing React content? She doesn't She doesn't even like the DSP versus the Internet show that I do every week. Like, she was liking it during the holidays when we were having holiday-themed stuff. But now, when you watch the show and half the time it's just random clips that are completely nonsensical stuff... That doesn't appeal to her. You know, for me, that's kind of the appeal of the show to me because I never know what I'm going to watch next, right? When I do the React stuff, I don't know what the next clip is. It could be something insightful and incredibly interesting. It could be on topic to something that we've been doing. It could be a funny comedy video. Or it could be some guy standing there and going, I like to fart. I like to fart. I fart and fart and fart and fart. And, you know, <laughs> okay, maybe I've never watched that particular clip. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, we get that variety of stuff. It kind of reminds me of, like, back in the day, like, watching, like, Adult Swim on Cartoon Network, how the shows were so weird and irreverent, and it basically, get, you know, that's kind of the, the, the gimmick, is, like, you don't know what you're going to watch next. So I like that about the show. She doesn't. Like, she likes more meaningful clips and stuff, and you don't always get that. Half the time you're watching nonsense on that show, and I get that. So, no, she doesn't want to do co-op commentary on DSP versus the internet. She doesn't even really watch it herself. Sometimes she tries to watch it. It's like, oh my God, this is so stupid. And then she tunes out and doesn't even watch it, right? So, you know, uh, we got to think, yeah, some of the stuff like, like, like C-Lab, Aqua Teen, or Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Exactly. Like that's what, that's kind of like what the, the DSP versus the internet show feels like to me. Like we're watching such randomness that at any moment anything can happen and something stupid happens and sometimes it's funny and sometimes it's just dumb, right? <laughs> So, <clears throat> see, Sarah, and here's where you get it wrong, because Sarah says, from what you're saying, it sounds like Kat doesn't want to be in the content. Wrong. She wants to be in content that she enjoys being a part of. There's a difference between me sitting here every day, putting out content because it's my job, and I've done it for 15 years, and I enjoy hanging out with you guys, and someone who doesn't do this for a living, hasn't been doing it for 15 years, and is honestly feels more like it's work to sit in front of this camera than anything else. She wants to do something that's fun. So we have to find something that would be fun. You understand? It's not that she's not willing to do it. She just wants to have to, to be putting out. Like, again, watch the first Q&A video we did in January. She's grinning ear to ear the whole time. She's having tons of fun. Watch the first co-op stream we did Wednesday night. Aside from the very end where she got fatigued, which you could tell she was beat by the end, we were having tons of fun the entire time. Compare that to each second session, and all you'll see the difference of it's not as fun anymore. Questions have dried up. The game got way boring. That's the difference. So the key is finding the balance of stuff that's going to be fun to do so that it's fun to watch. Do you understand? Not just grinding through something 
because then it's not going to be fun for her and she's not going to have a good time and that's going to come out in the stream, right? So there you go. <clears throat> Get it? Okay. So honestly, there's no str uh, rush to get her back on the stream. If she, if we have an idea, if you guys have an idea, good thing to maybe put into the suggestion box or to talk about, uh, you know, in the chat. But we've been looking for suggestions. We will look for suggestions, but we're not desperate to have her come back to stream right away to do more co-op or anything like that. We liked how it went, you know, for how long it did. We got the progress we needed, so the playthrough continues now with tons of more money, and thankfully it's because of her and her input that we got that far. But not in any rush to rush back into it if no one's having fun, right? So that's what I mean. Let's look into it. Let's see. I'm sure you guys are going to know way more about co-op games than I am, you know? Um, so that's that, okay? So, yes, Don't Doko Island, we're done with it. We hit three-star level. That's as far as we're going to go. I don't even want to go back to it myself. We got out of it what we needed. The co-op is done for now. We will be looking for future opportunities for fun co-op. We just don't know what it is yet. We have to look into it and try to figure it out. And all of your input is greatly appreciated. Okay? Fair enough? Okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so, that's where we ended last night. I got the drip going. 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 I got the drip. It's yeah. like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, so I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 